If you have bled the burner and it will fire but then shuts right back down, it could be your cat eye. So next we're going to show you how to locate the cat eye and clean it and make sure that it is working properly. Okay, on the Beckett burner, your cat eye is going to be located underneath your igniter module. So first off, you're going to want to loosen the screws and then move the little tabs back and the module will hinge open. The cat eye is located right between your spring igniters. Now we want to pull the uh, cat eye out. It just unplugs and then uh, you can look down in the cat eye there and see if the front of it is really dirty or if you can see the the little uh, printed circuit board there if there's any cracks or distortions in that circuit board that will not allow it to see the flame and will not let the burner start so at that point that would have to be replaced if you're just cleaning it you can plug it right back in and then close the module up making sure that the tabs are pulled back into place and your screws are locked back down you'll need to make sure that these are locked down tight this will allow those springs to make contact with the igniter and make sure you're getting full spark down to your igniter Here's a picture of a really bad cat eye. Uh, as you can see, the whole front of it is really cloudy. And this burner probably was having a little back burn inside of it. The housing is melted a little bit, which is telling us that the burner was not functioning properly, possibly leaking fuel in the burner and igniting the fuel and melted a little bit of this housing.